Hi guys, I'm back. In this video, I'm going to show how to kill and break Fatalis head twice with Charge Blade. Let's start with the build. After much brainstorming, here's the build I made. Pick Alatri and CB with Health Augment, Brachidium Helm Beater, Damascus Chest Beater, Frost Fang Arms Beater, Tentacle Coil Gamma, and Brachidium Pants Alpha. Pick Challenger Charm 5. Bring Gillian Temporal Mantle in Phase 1, and bring Fireproof and Rocksteady Mantle in Phase 2 and Phase 3. Here's the Decus. Pause if you wanna see. Maximum out Heavy Artillery, Focus, and Destroyer. Insert 2 Gobbler Jewels on Gilly Mantle, 2 Expert Jewels on Rocksteady and Tempura Mantle, and 2 Jumping Jewels on Fireproof Mantle. Here's the skill list. Use Girl May Voucher, eat attack up large food, and find Marxie, insurance, or safeguard. Let's -a go! Buff, and do cannon strat. Each phases have different strategy. So fasten your seatbelt, if you want that sweet fatalis armor and weapon. Pick stones, put two bombs here, and load the cannons. Eat seeds and use powders before shooting. Eat my pill and wear tempura mantle. Go down and do basic CB combos to amplify the shield and perform savage acts. Tenderize head and chest. Then wall back. Guard point the roar and axe the head. Okay. How do I break Fatalis head with CP? Just snipe the head with sword door axe mode. When Fatalis is doing flamethrower, bite, and fireballs. Like this. But what if Fatalis stands up? You have to force it to walk on all fours by spamming Savage Axe attacks. It might be my first time knowing this, but you can easily make Fatalis walk on all fours with just few hits of Savage Axe. Then, roll out quickly and axe the head. If you miss a few seconds after the body slam, morph into sword mode. Always reload to keep Savage Axe activated. You can also charge the sword, or get few hits, to reload after Fatalis does burst fire. Anyway, in phase 1, what you need to do, is keep Savage Axe and shield activated, then focus always on the head, ignore the chest. I'd recommend to just perform Savage Axe on the head for big damage, unless in certain situations like Fatalis doing bite attacks, you can do a combination of axe and sword combo. Guard point into amped element discharge is kind of a useless here, because basic element discharge deals the same damage, and doesn't knock you into animation state. Alright, since we always snipe the head in phase 1, it's guaranteed to get first head break in phase 2. Let me show you. Refresh sharpness and buff. Get binder here. Move the Gatling gun until the very left. Don't shoot it. Then, proceed to root Fatalus. Ride Gatling gun again, and unload all the ammo to Fatalus head. There we go. Quickly hop off, then do a combo to reload the shield, and save files for Savage Axe later. Use Farcaster, restock items and change mantles to Rocksteady and Fireproof. 
refresh buffs. In phase 2, Fatalis likes to stand up more often than walk on all fours. So, what should I do during phase 2? It's not that different from phase 1, except Fatalis likes to spam explosive slime. Force Fatalis to walk on all fours, then focus on the head only. You can only hit the chest if you want to reload files or activate Savage Axe. Don't forget to wall bang for extra head damage. You can smack Fatalis head before and after it's roaring. If your Savage Axe or Shield buff isn't active, activate them as soon as possible. Ready position to attack. While Fatalis is doing flamethrower, the basic combo is Axe Rising Slash, then morph into Sword. Attack Fatalis legs or tail to quickly reload, because they can't make you stutter while attacking. The best combo for me is Axe Rising Slash in the beginning, then do Element Discharge twice. Or Axe Rising Slash into Sword Mode. Alright, entering Phase 3, it's gonna be harder to break the head because of snap and drag, and spinning flamethrower. Get the second binder, then root Fatalus again. Man, I really hate ledges. I miss the head a few times. Just go crazy on the head here, while trying to reload Savage Axe or Shield. Okay. What should I do during phase 3? Fatalis stands up more often here, so we gonna need to attack the chest often as well, until Fatalis walks on all fours, and hope it does flamethrower or bite attacks. While Fatalis is on all fours, attack the chest. This is to avoid that annoying spinning flamethrower, and also not waste a lot time trying to attack the head, because Fatalis moves a lot during phase 3. Quickly go to the other side to avoid getting burned. Since Fatalis likes to do snap and drag then stands up, it increases the chance of it to do fire cone. Keep a track of your position to avoid fainting. This is the only big chance to break the head in phase 3. The best combo for this is rising slash into element discharge, then rising slash again. The head should be destroyed anytime soon. Because it took much damage in phase 2. Just spam few savage axe. Then, roll out to avoid body slam. Quickly axe the head. There we go. Second head break. After second head break, no need to aim for the head. Just be a chainsaw dude and spam savage axe to the chest until it dies. Well, if Fatalis does fire cone still, you can aim the head. Now, I'ma just beat this lizard until Dragonator shows up.
Nope. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide can make you a better hunter. Consider to like and subscribe. Stay safe. Happy hunting. Have a good day.